Well, greetings, friends. It's me again, Denise at Dancing. Denise is Dancing Paintbrush, and today I have another watercolor for you. This one's another Crazy Horse Rose with the white interior and the red edges, but it's got a bud with it, or at least a smaller rose that hasn't opened as far. And so uh, I'm going to paint it the same way I did the other one. Lots of blues and a little touch of, of green blush near the base. Last time I did one of these roses, I was telling you about the um, the licensing companies that let me put my artwork on their sites licensed to be used when they pay me a royalty like Society6, Red Redbubble, Zazzle, oh there are so many others can't think of them all off the top of my head but I picked just those three because uh, more than that would be hard to maintain and manage. So this will be another rose very soon to be loaded on that site for you to order on t-shirts or tote bags or notebooks or bedspreads or pillowcases, etc, etc. They have so many things there. You really should uh, go and check them out. I want to get one of those iPad covers and a phone case with my artwork on, but it's kind of hard to decide which piece I really want to choose over all the others to have printed on a uh, phone cover. I'll have to think about that. A dear friend of mine got in contact with me about a year ago and um, told me that she was ordering from Society6, I believe, um, a bedspread and pillowcase, two pillows, and some tea towels with one of my rose designs on it for her daughter. And her daughter just happens to be one of those many children that I taught art to when she was just a little girl. And um, so it was very exciting when she sent me a photo of the actual bedspread and her daughter sort of laying across it. It was so cute and um, nostalgic. It makes me think, wow, has that much time gone by? <laughs> you lose track of time until you see how much children that you used to teach have grown up. I remember vividly I used to teach this one girl private classes her, her parents paid for and she was so self-conscious she was so worried of showing her work that she refused I mean flatly refused to try any of the suggestions that I came up with um, let's draw some dolphins. No. Let's draw some roses. Let's draw a flower. How about this or that? I mean, it just, she drew only what she was familiar with and what she knew would turn out nice. And she drew it over and over and over and colored it. Well, of course, 
Anything that you draw over and over is going to turn out nice. But I could not get her past that expectation that it was going to be a disaster if she tried anything new. And I am just not good at fighting with children that are not my own. You know what I mean? I finally gave up. Let her draw the same old thing. And what was it? Dolphins, I think it was. She draw she would draw dolphins over and over again. And of course, they looked really good. But she refused to draw anything else. Not fruit, not flowers, not any other animal, even a fish. She just wouldn't even attempt it. No, she would say. <sighs> Sometimes teaching art can be really daunting. I know what I'm doing. I, I, I could help her make anything look good. She just wasn't going to try it. And then I had another student not long ago who was absolutely fearless. Anything I wanted to present, she was more than willing to jump in and give it a try. That girl was really expanding her talents. I remember a couple of other girls that were very, very similar in that they had learned to draw some um, manga figures from pausing the video and tracing them <laughs> on the TV set. And they would do that over and over again and had a whole portfolio of traced pictures and they were very obviously traced I could tell I guess maybe their parents couldn't tell and thought they were great artists and enrolled them in one of my classes but they refused to try anything else if they couldn't trace it off the TV screen they weren't going to give it an attempt and that is such a shame so here is my rose the last little thing I do is draw some very pale veins and they're not just straight lines they're intermittent you know I lift my brush and let the brush draw here and there thanks for watching I sure appreciate you coming by and checking out my site from time to time I hope you have a lovely day do come again bye now <laughs>